Bose S1 Pro Plus. Hello, this is Francesco. Welcome to my channel. Um, I wanted to make this video talking about this new, uh, like the, this kind of second version, this upgrade of the Bose S1. Um, because I think this needed a little reflection uh, for all the Bose owners that maybe are thinking and uh, li like me to upgrade this plus version and and also for all the people that generally they are interested in this speaker and they try to do their evaluation to like compare and understand better what they're talking about okay so finally um, a few days ago I, I received this notification like oh wow a new version this plus version uh, is out and it was a very um, weighted version in some way because uh, the Bose S1 is a, is a nice speaker. I mean, it's a nice solution if you are looking for that kind of portable and practical solution for having a kind of a good sound in many situations. Uh, but uh, like many others, Bose owners, uh, we find that, I mean, I find at least, that there are some improvements that would be nice that would, in this speaker. And I made in the past some videos talking about this also when I, um, when I compare the speaker with other speakers and you can see that, yes, nice, but. Uh, so some aspects of this speaker uh, there was a hope for this new version that you you, you can you, you will have you would have this new uh, new feature or maybe improvement you know uh, okay but let's go to this plus let's see what is this Bose S1 plus uh, this plus means that you have uh, a wireless connection for connecting your instrument and microphone directly to the speaker. So this is a nice feature. You have this, this receiver that are integrated in the speaker. You just kind of push and take it off from the speaker. Uh, and one is jack, the other one is XLR connection. So one is for the microphone, the other one is for an instrument. And without need of leads cable, you just connect and uh, it's nice, it's practical, it's clean. Um, what else? Um, we have um, now um, an app. So we can control the speaker uh, through an app. And yes, that also a nice feature, something that you uh, started to see many other speakers uh, already. And you have some new presets for the tone match. So there are some presets that are specifically made, for example, for some kind of microphones. Uh, for example, you are using a Beta 58. You have the tone match specifically made for the uh, Beta 58. Okay. Uh, what else? I think you also have a little USB port. Handy. Um, but, but, because there is... Is the moment for the but. Uh, but the speaker is, drum roll, <laughs> the same. So basically you have the same speaker, so you are, there is no mention of improvement about the sound, about the loudness, about like what you can get in terms of, yes, of sound out of the speaker. So this is, this plus in this case is exactly the same speaker with these little ads like the wireless connection and the, the app and what I just said. Um, and here starts the, the reflection about it. Okay, let's start from the, mm, from the idea of the same speaker. One of the main thing that, uh, the, the main hope uh, from the both owners were about how loud is the speaker, especially uh, talking about the mic signal, because many, many times I, I hoped for this new version to, to be a bit more powerful, especially in the preamp of the, the mic preamp. 
and nothing happened unfortunately about that oh okay um also i hoped many times that a new version would have been slighter bigger in terms of like kind of bigger sound you know maybe instead of have this six inch uh speaker maybe a eight ten i don't know something that can could give you a little bit more body in the sound same speaker as i said so this plus version nothing changed about that um okay but we have a wonderful app in this new version okay but what we can do with this new app because one of the uh the hope for a new version was also to have more control in, uh, in about the sound the eq you know because uh, the the bose one has only the high frequencies and low frequencies this is the eq we can control with uh, with the bose one um and after you have the selection for the tone match uh, but in this new plus version, you can control with the app exactly the same, the same high frequencies and low frequencies. So same control, but on the phone now. Um, and talking about this tone match, uh, as I said in other videos before, uh, that you can check if you're interested in having more information around this process one, generally speaking. Um, I don't really like the the how the sound is made, uh, the, the preset of the tone match. Um, I know that it's supposed to be kind of sweeting more the microphones or the guitar or whatever instrument, you know. Uh, but for me, they sound a bit too much exaggerated. I don't like how it sounds. And I have to say that I had a chance to listen um, the, this new preset, this more detailed preset in this new uh, tone match, we can say, in the, this the plus version. Um, and w it's still, I don't like I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> still, I don't like that. They are, yes, they change slightly when you change maybe the microphone of the other model, sure, or I don't know, Schneiser, whatever. But they are still that kind of sound that to me is, I don't know, it's too harsh, it's too, it, it's not, not, it's not sounding natural for me. So in that department, nothing changed for me in this plus version. Um, what else? Uh, we have this um, this connection between, like in this plus version, we have now the possibility to connect vocals, microphone and instruments without leads. And that's nice actually, that's a nice feature, I like that. But I have to say that many Bose users already did that using other, like not from Bose, but just other gears to connect wireless, like without leads, uh, their mic or their guitar or whatever. So this uh, is not something new, it's nice because you have just like everything is already in the speaker, is ready. You don't need to uh, find uh, from other brands this kind of uh, this this connector. This you know, but it's nothing special. I mean, it's something that already exists, and it's something that many users already uh, did and still doing. Um, one thing also I would like to say that I didn't say about the the mic still is not uh th there is not the phantom power option uh that is a big missing for me because uh i like also not in every kind of gig but sometimes i like to w when it's possible to use condenser microphone um, and for doing that for example with the the, the the s1 not plus but it's the same with this new plus uh, you need to have something that gives you the phantom power. So I did actually a video about this, so you can have different solution to add the phantom power to the Bose S1. But still, this new Plus version didn't add uh, the phantom power. Um, it looks a bit like for some, you know, when you see the what they did in this Plus version, it looks like they are kind of they they want to 
put this uh, this product more to the kind of karaoke or maybe not professional um, part of the market I don't know it looks a bit like that or maybe even for professional part of the market but for that kind of musician that maybe wants something that is ready to go uh, and don't want to take that bit of time that you need when you personalize and set carefully the queue for example uh, that is nice from one side because it's ready to go but from the other side when it's ready to go uh, it's possible that it's not suiting exactly what you want that is not the sound that you want and maybe generally that you are kind of adapting to that sound instead of <laughs> the the speaker adapts in some way to what you want to, from 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 the speaker um so my opinion at the end if you are um if you already have a Bose S1 like me and are thinking about upgrading to this plus version I'm not sure that is a great idea I mean I will not do that um for this reason because at the end you you're going to have the same speaker you're going to have the same speaker and you're going to pay a different price I mean now you can find the S1 uh, new at the price that is like it's not when li like when it was just out in the market um, and this plus version like there is a difference in price and this difference in price at the end is basically for this if you like the tone match there is some more detailed uh, tone match and this wireless connection so for, for like for my use for what I like I don't see the reason to upgrade to this new version also for if you are uh, thinking about this both S1 but you don't already have the S1 I will think about uh, taking this one like the old the Note Plus version uh, because as I said, you can find it at uh, a different price, a lot more reason reasonable price, and you still you're still gonna have the same speaker. So if you don't really feel the need of that wireless connection, or maybe you tested it or listened it and you don't like the tone much, probably there is no reason for buying and spending more in something that is giving you the same sound. Also, a little thing to say, still, if you like to use the tone match, this has tone match. You can select for mic and, for example, for guitar, the tone match. You just don't have that more detail for, for example, different type kind of microphones. That's all. Um, okay, that's my opinion about it. Both. I'm sorry, I'm always uh, a fan of uh, of your products or many aspects of your engineering but in this case this plus uh, is nothing plus for what I, I, I looking for in this speaker or in something related to this speaker. Um, talking, last thing that I would like to say to you, talking about something that is related to this speaker have a look to um, the last video that I did where I talk about another brand uh, um, that made something that in my opinion can in that case be the S1 Pro number two so not plus but really number two I'm talking about the EVverse uh, 8 um, that is a surprising speaker and that in my opinion is it can really be the Bose S1 a step forward so have a look about that if you're also thinking generally not specifically about this one but just generally about this kind of solution um, that was my opinion let me know what you think about and see you in the next video